He's been gaming all his life, but he still sucks at games. When he plays FPS, he eats sprays instead of aims. When it comes to platformers, he's falling down the pits. And in fighting games, he gets distracted by the tits. Boobies! So come along and join him as he does his video. And if you don't like it, then he'll say, fuck you. Game through. Hello boys and girls, Spider-Man's Thorax here, and I'm back on Mario Maker, because apparently it's your favourite thing to watch on my channel, so I am a view whore, and I've decided to play some more Mario Maker to make you guys happy, so yay! Plus I also really like the game, so it's, it's not all bad, you know. So, um, yeah, looking down the bottom of the screen at the level design, this does look pretty interesting. I don't... oh, wait. I never even noticed that the analog sticks were up in top. Like, I literally just picked up the gamepad and, like, start playing. Like, I... this is the first time I've actually really looked at the gamepad properly. Um, that's kind of weird, actually. I just guess I pick up and play a game like I never really pay attention to control pads so I just try and get used to it but anyway let's play 30th Mario Wii U pad adventure adventure sanity not included reference there for anyone who got that and I said in um I think it was mine and Chrissy's Halo playthrough that I'd stop referencing stuff so much but oh well you know you can't you can't silence that which will not be silenced. What? Do I go... Alright, okay. Do I... I, I don't know. Hang on. Let me think about this. So... I can either make a leap of faith... Or do that and go back to where I started. to go. Is that... you can't have to go through there, surely. Why am I... oh wait, I had a fire flower, that's why. Oh yeah, I've got a fire... oh my god, I'm so moronic. How did I... oh. There I am, like, oh, I wonder how you get through here. Oh yeah, I have a fire flower, I can just set everything on fire. A moron, really. I think that's one of the dumbest things I've ever done in. Oh, oh, um, help, send help, help, send help, anyone. I wanted to actually do the level, but apparently I've. Okay, this isn't even a cheat way to uh, complete it. Like. This is, I have to restart. I literally I can't do anything. <laughs> I broke the level. That's um, a first, I think. Right. So this time, I'm actually going to be aware of the fact I have a fire flower. Yeah, I have a fire flower. How have I missed that many times? MLG, except it's not Major League Gaming, it's Minor League Gaming, because I suck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how many times did that take? Sorry for anyone who loves Jesus Christ, or is Jesus Christ, um, even though you're dead. Uh, well, I mean, people who love Jesus Christ aren't dead. I mean, they might be, you know. I I'm sure, well, I know for a fact that, like, people who have followed religion in the past have ended up meeting their fates at some point or another. What even am I on about? <laughs> uh, anyway, I need... Oh, what the hell? I'm Giant Mario! Oh, hello. Am I meant to go this way? 
am I? I don't fully... Oh, there you go. There we go. That could have ended very badly for me if I hadn't have uh, thought to do that. <laughs> Yeah, that was, a, that was a fun little level, I enjoyed that. So um, here is literally one of the most imaginative levels I've ever seen in Mario Maker. Are you ready for this, guys? Because this is amazing. Like, look at that level design down the bottom. You can tell that you're in for a treat on this one. Oh my god, apparently it's super hard as well, so we're just going to go into it. Like, I've had my relaxed time with the Mario, 30th Mario thing. Like... Here we go. So as you can see... Oh, they've actually made it so... It plays its own music. That's so cool. Oh, crap! <laughs> so... People have actually made... This creator has legit made a mecha bowser like they've made a giant freaking robot from bits and pieces on the game it's incredibly awesome like look at this shit they've got chain chomps for arms they've got like the bootlegs they've got cannons that fire at you like it's just it's like a battle robot of destruction it's so cool I mean, I don't mean a gosh, but this is for not... John, stop looking at the robot and actually pay attention to what is in front of you. For God's sake, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the uh, Godzilla theme or something, like, I don't recognise it, like, if anyone else recognises that theme that plays, like, please let me know. But yeah, that's something else you can do on Mario Maker, you can actually, like, put in songs that aren't in the game by, like, changing the tones of things that get hit, and, uh, yeah, like, people have made, like, the Pokemon song in this, um... Literally, people are just so creative on this game, it's great. Like, look at this! It's so cool! So there he is, he's got stuck. Crap! I just had to survive, that's all I had to do was survive. But yeah, basically the aim of this level is uh, you have to destroy uh, Mecha Bowser. And honestly, this level is so freaking beast that um, I've realised like these levels haven't actually come up in the codes. So um, I think with like the levels I've played in this gameplay, so uh, this is also including those Game Boy games from like the last episode. Um, I don't need to put in a link to James's because it comes up automatically like uh, when I started it because. He's someone I follow and I didn't need to download his level in order to play it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start putting the codes in the description. So like, if you have a Wii U and uh, this game and like you want to play this level, like you'll be able to. Because um, I dare say like there's a fair few of you that will actually want to play this level. Because, I mean, just look at it. It's so... Freaking awesome! I mean, what do I have to do here? What do I have to do? Oh, okay, I see. I'm just getting paranoid about those cannons because I thought they were going to shoot me. Yeah, so basically, um, right now, you're like inside the robot. Like, this is meant to be like the inside of the inner workings of the robot. And you are. Uh, basically end up having to shut him down from the inside. Um, like the... Oh! Shit, was not meant... Oh! You are not meant to go down there, apparently. 
The only gripe I've got with this level is that you have to keep starting off back at the uh, start. Um, I think checkpoints would have been a nice little thing to have had in the level. Like, um... Just because, like, at start, you've got, like, no control over, like, how fast you go. Like, I mean, this part as well, like, you don't have any control over, like, how fast you get through a level because it's a scrolling one. Um, so, yeah, I think checkpoints would have been handy to have had. That's my only gripe for this, but, like, everything else is awesome. I mean, the fact that, like, it's actually got a story to it as well, like... I can't remember how I heard the story. I think it was like when I when I got this code, there was sort of like a bit of background on the level, and uh, the creator said like you know the level is you're basically shutting down Mecha Bowser from the inside. <gasps> Ooh, that was way too close there. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you're shutting him down from the inside, so. Uh, you basically get through this part, you get through the next bit, like you're inside the robot itself right now. Then you hit that power block, you uh, send him to the depths of hell. What? They've actually made like an alarm sound. So it's kind of like a escape sort of thing. This is so fucking cool! I mean, like, they've got alarms and, like, the screen shaking, like, is getting blown up from the inside. And, like, obviously now it hasn't got the boots and everything. Now these flame boots come out and, like, they've got, like, this whole, like... Oh, no. I need a key to get through there. I know what to do. Ha! You're in front of me now, boy. Now what do you plan to do? Shit. That was, uh, I spoke too soon, I think, there. Whew. There we go. I need another mushroom. Oh, thank you. Uh, shit. Uh, come on. There we go. I really need another mushroom, I, I think. I, I'd, I'd appreciate another mushroom. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, oh, just, I'm fanboying so hard, like, this is like, you're taking out his heart, that's his heart dead now. So yeah, you take out his heart, oh, you can't actually keep your big Mario, you have to be small again to get through this part. Okay, okay, I can do this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm expecting like you guys to like leave quite a few positive comments about this level because it's just oh, like imagine if game design oh fuck imagine if game designers now had as much imagination as this guy who created this level. Like, I wish we had, like, the... I really wish, like, games... Fuck. I really wish games nowadays had the creativity and innovation of, like, old retro games. Because, like, you know, with retro games, it used to be a case of... They made their games last longer. Oh, fuck. They made their games last longer by sort of like giving it, giving the game uh, a, a certain amount of difficulty, and uh, obviously they were like, well, people are going to be playing this like a bunch of times. So uh, we're going to have to like make things a little bit creative, a little bit imaginative. But nowadays, like most games are like... Um, there we go, now he's got stuck. Ooh, shit, that nearly got me. Um, yeah, with games nowadays, it's a case of... 
Yeah, I mean, like, let's make it so the... Oh, crap. That's awesome. Like, in the brain, is that you actually... You're in the cockpit, basically, right now. And, like, obviously, everything's crashing down around him because, uh... Oh, no, I see what you got to do here. Shit, I really wish I still had my, uh... I need that turtle shell, but I don't want to risk it by going down there. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, right, that's why. Oh my god, I suck. What I was gonna say, though, oh god, I've got to do all that bit again. <laughs> yeah, um. With video games nowadays, it's like, oh yeah, story comes first, gameplay comes second. We want people to like finish our games so they can see our story that we've created. And so, video games have inherent. Oh, I swear, I love that word today. Um, but video games have inherently turned into movies, basically, like interactive movies. And there are some games where it makes sense to be that way, like, uh, for example, you know, Heavy Rain, uh... Fuck, I missed. Um... Yeah, like... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <sighs> this is gonna be tough as fuck to try and do. Oh, really? <laughs> So what you got to do, you need to pick up that shell and then fire it inside to where Bowser is. Or Bowser Jr. as it were. Um, what other games are there like Heavy Rain? Uh, Beyond Two Souls, which is actually made by the same guy as well, so... Uh, that's really no surprise there. Um, you've also got one on the original Xbox, which was cool. Oh, crap! Oh, shit. Hang on. What game is it called? Uh... So I'm trying to look up at my uh, game shelf whilst also doing this. Maybe I probably shouldn't... Oh, my God. That was the quickest loss of a mushroom ever. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <sighs> I really wish this level had checkpoints. Like, more checkpoints. I just love the way they've emulated, like, how this place is, like, blowing up. Blowing up! Glowing up? Blowing up. That's right, you are blowing up right now. What? Sorry, Scott Pilgrim reference there. Uh, I know uh, Mr. Malus will get that one. I'm what's new. I'm what's hot. I'm blowing up right now. That's right, you are blowing up right now. What? There we go. So that's the first hit done. Second hit done. Boom. Boom, bitch, get out the way. That is how we do it in my neighborhood. Oh, why can I not have done it that smoothly last time? Why are there doors here? All oh, right, there's like no reason for them at all. Oh my god, seriously though, this level, this level is freaking awesome. I just want to see if I can, oh crap, I didn't actually want to do that. I'm trying to build up enough speed in my power meter so I can actually get up there. Fuck it! I'm going to try once more and then just end the level because uh, this level's getting a bit long so. I don't think you can actually jump up there. No, I don't think you can, can you get enough height? No, you can't get enough height. So yeah, that's it. We defeated Mecha Bowser. Or Mecha Godzilla, Bowzilla. Mecha Bowser? What was the level called again? I'm about to find out either way. Um, this level was called... 
Super Mario vs. Mecha Bowzilla. So yeah, I'm gonna put up the link to this level at in the description so look at the description you can play this level and i highly recommend it because holy shit that was awesome and oh, so good so so good um but yeah i hope you guys will join me on my next adventure for mario maker i actually i just realized i still have one level i haven't played so i'm gonna play that on the next one till then guys Take care of yourself, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, I'm a ninja now, and thanks for watching my video. To watch more videos like this, and there's some links on the right there, and to subscribe to my clan, then yeah, click the link down below. Adios.